details on a cold case that authorities can now close the books on. It's a case that went unsolved for almost a decade, and tonight the man convicted of murdering a local woman begins spending the rest of his life behind bars. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer has more on the story live in New Bedford. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office has pledged to solve cold case homicides, and today he's closed another case with a guilty plea. Now, back when the suspect was indicted in 2010, Eyewitness News went to the court and interviewed the victim's family. It's taken 11 years, but Bristol County District Attorney Sam Sutter says John Laughlin pleaded guilty Friday to second-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison for the 2002 killing of 43-year-old Marlene Rose of New Bedford. I had no knowledge of the bite marks and the brutality of what she suffered prior to her dying. I thought when we were told at first that she was strangled alive, but nobody told us she was brutally beaten and bitten like a dog on the street. Rose's death was a cold case until in 2010, detectives reviewing the murder were able to match DNA from the 45-year-old Laughlin of Tennessee to evidence gathered from underneath the victim's fingernails and from bite marks on her body. Uh, the condition of her clothing was um, upset and there were certain portions of her body that were naked and exposed. Laughlin was indicted for the murder of Rose, whose half-naked body was found beaten and strangled to death on the railroad tracks near 1800 Purchase Street on July 7, 2002. Rose's family reportedly supported the resolution of this case. Now, we did attempt to reach out to them, but were unsuccessful. Now, Laughlin has the possibility of parole after 15 years in jail. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.